All right guys, so today I wanna to talk about uh, electronics and our machines here on the trailer. So first I wanna start out with this AC uh, split unit. Uh, it also has heat as well. So you see it right now, it's set to 62 on heat. Uh, it's pretty cold outside. It's actually snowing and raining outside right now. And uh, it's a 120 volt unit. Uh, we do not have 208 or 220 on board. Uh, we Our generators uh, supply us with 120 volt. Um, 50 amp, but I um, wanted to see if I can get a little shot on this side right here. Uh, if you wanted to pause the video right there for um, just these details and everything, I think you can see it. And so we got this on highseer.com, I believe. Uh, they also have it on Amazon. It's about seven to eight hundred bucks, I think even nine hundred bucks maybe. Um, and uh, I'll take you outside real quick to see the condenser. And just a quick look at the condenser on the outside right here. I'll show you how I mounted it. Uh, and we have two mounts really. Uh, the one on the back right here going underneath. And then I have this one that I got from Lowe's that connects to it. So that way when I hit bumps, this thing doesn't bounce up and down and uh, or, or breaks off. So that would not be good. Um, this thing has done really well over bumps, really big bumps actually. Uh, it has not moved. So yeah, I just want to get you a quick look at it. And we'll uh, jump inside and look at some other things. So I explained in the other video about this uh, hot water tank. So it's, it's a Bosch four gallon hot water tank. Um, pretty miniature and it's great. Uh, it's just down here on the floor. Just anchored also into the wall back here. Um, it's great for hot water. If you're, uh, you know, just, just need hot water just to wash your hands. I highly recommend this one. Uh, we got this one on Amazon. So I'll put it down in the description for you guys. So next we'll talk about grinders. So this is our coffee grinder right here. Uh, it's a Curtis model. Uh, the ratchet strap is actually covering that up. And uh, to talk about that real quick, uh, I use a ratchet strap, so let's cut it, and then uh, put these screws and these washers into studs. So that way the uh, grinder will not move when I am driving. And uh, it's been doing a great job. So I use this grinder for our drip coffee and also our cold brew. So uh, for drip coffee, I'm on auto drip, and then if I need to do cold brew, I go all the way to course, and it tastes fantastic once I brew it. So this is the Curtis Ground Coffee, or Curtis Gourmet Ground Coffee Grinder. Next up, we have our grinder for our espresso, and then also our espresso machine. So I'll get to this guy in a little bit. Um, right here is the Fiorenzetto. I think I said that right. Maybe not. Uh, but is it's their um, F83E model. And I, I had no intention of going with this guy. I mean, you see how big it is once I zoom out here. Um, that was probably the biggest turnoff about this, but it was an open box model and I got about $500 off of it and it, it had never been used before. Uh, so it's been working great. The only problem I had with it was it, um, it, it jammed up about a month after I opened, but it's because I wasn't doing the proper maintenance on it. Once I started doing the proper maintenance on it, then it worked like a dream and it's been working great ever since. Um, so here are the settings right here. I mean, it gives you uh, your humidity and everything. It gives you all the, um, the temperature, it gives you the time, all of that, the date, and you can uh, edit all those settings if you want. It's all touch screen. And I'm gonna put a little cup under here if I can get it to work. Hopefully it doesn't fall out while I'm doing coffee in it, but I wanna show you how quick this thing was. So I have this button right here, the uh, two cup button uh, set to about three seconds. That hand right there is a manual um, grind, and then this is the single dose grind as well next to it to the left. Uh, but here, I'm gonna hit this button. So boom, three seconds. Um, that was about, um, about 17 grams out right there for the coffee that we have that we're using right now. Uh, so again, yeah, the F83E Fiorenzetto. Just uh, look that up, it's a great grinder. And then we have the La Marzocco right here. Uh, this is the uh, GS3AV model. I would have it uh, turned on right now, but if I turn it on, I will trip a breaker since I'm on house power right now. Uh, so you have your two gauges, one for your steam one, and then one for the uh, boiler inside um, for the actual um, portafilter. 
and uh, this this guy is awesome. I highly suggest this if you're doing a coffee trailer and if you're uh, not open every single day from like seven to seven. Um, every video I watch, every review I've watched on this, uh, they were saying that this is great for uh, low volume um, coffee shops such as ours, and uh, it's been super consistent. Uh, it, it steams consistently. Uh, the temperature holds right there at 200 to 201, uh, right where I want it. It has a PID controller. You can't see it, but it's right under here that you can control. Uh, and then it also um, has all these different programmable buttons. Uh, you can see the one on there that I use the most. That's only a program to the coffee we're using right now. Um, and so it, it's great. It's not too heavy and it's anchored down with uh, more ratchet straps and uh, just drilled right into uh, the, these wooden countertops that I have. And uh, here I'll zoom up right here on the, the model so you can see it. Um, there you go. So yeah, it's 115 volts. Works great with our generators. Um, it's never tripped anything. Uh, runs smoothly. I'm trying to think of anything else I need to tell you about this thing. Um, yeah, we're uh, using, we have a bottomless porta filter on it. We also have a double uh, porta filter that we use on it here and there. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the GS3 AV. I highly suggest it if you're doing a coffee trailer. Next up we have the Bun CW Series Coffee Maker. And I'll zoom up right here so you can see the specs of this thing. CWTF15 APS model, uh, 120 volts, it's 1,370 watts. So it works perfectly. When I'm running this with the espresso machine and also have the uh, AC or heat on, and then my grinders as well. Uh, it, it works great. Uh, I have never tripped anything with all the equipment I have on here. And I, I, I of course, did the math and everything with uh, the electrician and everything signed off great. So uh, it was nice to see that everything performed so well. So what I'll do now, I'll take you outside and we'll check out, well, before I do that, I'll show you my breaker box right here. So I'll open this up. I don't really have it labeled that well, but, um, you see all my different uh, breakers. I have my main switch, I have the AC, and then the uh, hot water tank and the pump, espresso machine, grinder, I have lights, I have the POS and the fan system right here, uh, coffee maker and grinder, and then the fridge as well. So, oh yeah, and I'll just show you the fridge real quick as well, so, since we're talking about electronics. So I went with uh, Frigidaire, it's just a little mini fridge. Works perfect for this. Also have a cooler since this thing isn't that big. Um, to carry all the milks I need. So um, here's the milks that we use. And yeah, so it's just a little standard mini fridge. Again, it works great. And I have a, a big cooler that carries all the other milk when this runs out on a really busy shift. So now what I'll do, I'll take you outside and we'll go check out the generators. So the generators that we went with, uh, we went with the Champion generators, uh, the 3400 watt inverter series. And uh, this one takes gas only. They have another model that takes propane uh, if you want to get that. Uh, but we have two of these. So I have another guy over here. Um, it's raining right now, so I didn't uncover it. And I'm going to show you the platform that our fabricator built just to level these out because I have a two foot dovetail on the back of this trailer, as you can see. And so uh, just looking at the, the cabling and everything. So I have a cable coming from here and this is where I didn't do a great job. I need to anchor this down somehow going from here to the other uh, generator or really to this parallel kit right here and so basically these generators run to this parallel kit so that way you can double the wattage and, and everything um, on the, the trailer uh, so it's about uh, 6800 watts total and so I flip this 50 amp breaker on once I turn the generators on and uh, plug this guy in right here to this plug and we're good to go uh, so here I'll get another close-up shot real quick so if you're on switch, it is a pull start. It's not a remote start. I have them on economy mode just to bring the, the DBs down just a little bit. And there you have it.